Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can add a word list that's currently in a Word document into a combo box, but the ActiveX combo box, not a drop down menu that you see within your worksheet. It can be within your worksheet, but I'm not referring to data validation. I'm referring to using a combo box. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a workbook already here with some words and what I'm going to do is go to my Devel developers tab under insert. I'm going to look at my ActiveX controls and the list that I'm going to be working with, I'm going to be using a combo box, which is going to be this icon right here. And I'm just going to draw it onto my workbook. And I'm also going to do it with a list box, just so you, just so you can see both demonstrations. So these are ActiveX controls. Both of these controls can also be added to a user form if you wanted to go that route too in the Visual Basic environment. I went there by clicking Visual Basic. You can add a user form and you can draw those very same ActiveX controls. You have a list box and then you have a combo box. Now I'm going to be working on the Excel sheet and I'm just going to add a command button under Insert, ActiveX Controls, going to put in a command button. I'm going to right click this and go to properties. I'm just going to change the caption to load list. And so what we're going to do is look at that we're in sheet one. I mean, later on, this can be renamed. This can be like Adam in sight, but it's still the name of the sheet is sheet one as we can see right here in the properties and to load list. I'm going to in design mode, double click the button. We know that the starting row number is 2 and we're looking at column A. If you had your list in a different column and different range, I mean by all means make sure you change your code accordingly to what I'm about to create. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a variable that says uh, row review and I'm just going to call this number 1 because that's going to be our starting row. I'm going to create a loop that goes through the sheet before I do this, let me first call the sheet then the sheet as sheet 1. This can be rewritten also as actually no, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's going to be dim the sheet as worksheet. This is the part I was referring to. Set the sheet and this is where you assign this variable, the sheet, to an actual worksheet. This could be either sheet 1 or it can be sheets and then Adam in sight, which is the, the caption. Now the reason you want to go this route where you actually declare it and you assign this variable to the sheet is because the computer will process the information much quicker. If you were just to read through the sheet just using this sheets admin site and you read through this variable instead of going this route the computer will go much slower in processing the information so it's always good to assign a variable to a worksheet and then assigning it to the, the sheet itself that way you can work with that variable so now that we have that we're going to create our loop do do events and you're going to do row review is equal to row review plus one. That way all you're doing is going row by row. So the first item in review will be row number two. Since right, right here we signed this to as one, adding one plus one will take us to two. And then you're going to put item in review. This is a variable that we're going to create. We'll do the sheet dot range. And then this is where we're going to put column A and a row review. So the, all we're doing here is assigning the, the range that we're going to be looking at, or the cell I should say. So we're looking at A2 because this is going to be the, the first row. And what you're going to do is here do, do combo box one dot add item and we're going to put item in review. And just to make sure that we have an item there you should put if length of item in review is greater than zero then 
And since I said we were going to work with also a list box, I'm going to do the just change the code out. It's just the code is almost the same in most cases. And what we're going to do is loop until the item in review is equal to blank. Then we'll do message box complete. Now what we should have done before the loop, you should clear out your combo box, combo box one dot clear, and then list box one dot clear. And we're just gonna try this code out now. Load list. Notice in the developer tab I took off design mode, so we're now in production. Click load list. It's complete. It added to the list box and it also added items to the combo box. Now if you notice the combo box, it did mean nothing populated here. If you want to change that out, go back into design mode, double click load list. Here you're going to put combo box one and it should be index is equal to zero. Let's try this out. No, it's not combo box one dot index. To change the index, so let's at the beginning do combo box one dot list index is equal to zero. And so we're going to go ahead and try this code out again. Take us out of design mode. Click load list. Complete. And there you go. Combo box one is set to the first item, which is zero. The first item when working with a combo box and a list box is always going to be item zero. So this is index zero. This would be index one, index two, three, four, and five, and so on. But just to recap, the first index of your combo box and list box is going to be zero. I hope you enjoyed this video. This now concludes it. Thank you for watching.